Welcome back everyone. Today I have a 2014 Forerunner with a cylinder 4 misfire. I had already swapped the spark plugs and the ignition coils just trying to show my apprentice the basics. Cylinder 4 is under the intake and I think I have a bad injector but I feel like I've made quite a bit of videos doing current ramps on fuel injectors so I'm going to show a different way. Show you the misfire here on the scan tool and uh, take you under the hood. One of the biggest reasons I hear for people not using the scope is how long it takes to hook it up. So, unedited, live, I'm going to show how easy it is. Have your blue cable, goes into your scope, goes into your laptop. All new, not all new, all Toyota techs recently received this WPS. And, uh, I'm using this to show a little bit of a different way of using it to show um, how you can look at injectors through through a fuel pressure regulator. So I'm hooking my WPS up to channel A and I'm going to use the vacuum hose adapter. Bring you guys over here. Going right into the hose for the vacuum. Whoop, knocking you guys all over the place. Going right into the hose for the vacuum adapt for the uh, going right into the hose for the fuel pressure regulator. So I'm gonna turn this on. It's gonna self-calibrate. I'm gonna change this to range three, zoom three. Now this WPS will now act very similarly to a um, to a pulse sensor so if you don't want to spend a thousand dollars for a WPS you can buy buy a pulse sensor instead now I'm gonna use a sink you know I'm going to put a attenuator on, a 20 to 1 attenuator, because I'm going to go off of a, I'm going to go off a fuel injector for a sink. My ground on. Now my misfire is on cylinder. My misfire is on cylinder four, uh, but I'm using cylinder three as a sink because I can't get under the intake. Now, hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna use this drop-down menu. Click on the A. Click your probe. Click on WPS range 3. I'm just going to take it to, uh, say, 2 PSI. Should be enough. And then on B, I'm going to use a 20 to 1 attenuator with 200 volts. Just like that, my scope is hooked up. Um, probably took, what, 2 3 minutes? And that's while talking to a camera. So I'm going to fire this up and uh, get the waveform. previous videos I've always synced off of the bad injector or the injector I thought was bad and I'm not able to get the cylinder for so I was using my cat over temperature data pit 
just to make sure that the computer wasn't purposely shutting down the uh, shutting down cylinder four injector. So this waveform was taken while the injector was still operational. All right, so here's my waveform. I had saved it. So I'm gonna set up my rollers every time the injector turns on. So between here is cylinder three, four, five, six, one, two, then it repeats the three again. If you see here, you have a lot of activity. You see this drop down when cylinder three uh, fires. There's no activity when cylinder four fires. You see the activity when cylinder five fires, six, one, and two. So I'm pretty sure I have no flow out of my cylinder four injector. I still have seeing that waveform, I now at least have probable cause to remove this intake and inspect the injector farther. I don't like removing intakes if I don't have to. So I just wanted to show a lot of the Toyota guys who just now recently received the WPS. Um, one of the more unusual uses for using it. So you can check the mechanical flow of the fuel injector through a fuel pressure regulator. And I just wanted to show that. So, so I'm going to remove the intake, farther inspect that circuit, and uh, we'll go from there. So I got this intake removed. I'm going to zoom in. Hope you guys, oh, I hope you guys can see this. All right, there we go. So I'm zoomed in on onto the connector for the cylinder four fuel injector, and uh, that control wire is completely corroded away. So I'm gonna replace that connector with um, new new wires and gonna pop this white cover off. And there's a terminal uh, lock inside. You release that lock. Maybe. Oh no. There's not much to grab onto now. Get your terminal out. So I found a green terminal. Slide that right in. There's my lock. Lock back in. So I'm going to solder this uh, new terminal in. Make sure you put your uh, heat shrink on. If you forget your heat shrink, you're screwed. Ask me how I know. I think we've all done that at least once. I love this little Milwaukee soldering iron, man. This thing is nice. heats up in seconds. So in this area, this was before I had no activity. And this is now, you can actually see that activity. So your fuel pressure regulator has the rubber diaphragm in it and every time a fuel injector opens and closes, it creates turbulence in your fuel rail. And it causes that rubber diaphragm to actually pulsate. 
the WPS I was using to, to watch the pulsation of that rubber diaphragm. It's just another use for using the WPS. This video is mostly for the Toyota guys who just uh, received their special service tool, the, the pressure transducer. Just to show them another use for it. So I hope you guys appreciate the video. Um, I could have easily current ramped this circuit. But I feel like I have a bunch of those videos. So I wanted to show a different way of checking them. But it's a nice way to show how you can actually diagnose some failures underneath intakes uh, without removing the intakes. Or at least or at least having a reason to take off the intake instead of just taking educated guesses. But just want to show you. Here's my misfire graph. Zero misfires on cylinder four. So this one's fixed. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I hope you Toyota guys uh, start using your scopes and pressure transducers because it is a valuable tool. And you can get real creative using it. So I guess I'll see you guys next time.